Can you recall what might be the most profitable deal for United States in its history? Most probably you might have got my point. This event was, without a doubt, one of Russia's biggest mistakes in history. Join us as we delve into the circumstances surrounding this deal, its implications, and the lasting impact it has had on both nations USA and Russia, formerly known as Soviet Union. Let's rewind to the early 19th century when Russia controlled vast expanses of land in North America. Alaska, with its rich resources and strategic location, was a prized possession. The Russian-American company, established to exploit the region's fur trade, had established settlements and trading posts across Alaska. Despite the potential wealth Alaska held, maintaining colonies so far from the Russian heartland proved financially burdensome. Russia's economy was struggling, and Tsar Alexander II was keen on reducing expenses. The expenses associated with the maintenance of Alaska and the dwindling profits from the fur trade made it increasingly untenable to hold on to the territory. Simultaneously, Russia was also facing diplomatic pressures. The British Empire's expansion in the Pacific Northwest posed a threat to Russian interests in the region. With the possibility of conflict looming, Russia sought to secure its position by selling Alaska to a friendly power. In the mid-19th century, negotiations between Russia and the United States began regarding the sale of Alaska. The American Secretary of State, William Seward, was instrumental in pushing for the acquisition of Alaska. Despite initial skepticism from Congress and the public, Seward negotiated a deal with the Russian envoy, Edward de Stoeckel, in 1867. On March 30, 1867, the United States agreed to purchase Alaska from Russia for the sum of $7.2 million. This amounted to roughly two cents per acre. The purchase, initially dubbed Seward's Folly or Seward's Icebox by skeptics, was met with ridicule and criticism in some quarters. The sale of Alaska was met with mixed reactions in both Russia and the United States. In Russia, some saw it as a necessary move to alleviate financial strain, while others criticized it as a loss of territory and prestige. In the United States, while some recognized the strategic and economic potential of Alaska, others derided it as a wasteful expenditure. Despite the initial skepticism, the acquisition of Alaska proved to be a shrewd move for the United States. The discovery of gold in the late 19th century sparked a gold rush, attracting thousands of prospectors to the region. Alaska's abundant natural resources, including timber, fisheries, and oil, further contributed to its economic value. Beyond its economic potential, Alaska also held significant strategic importance for the United States. During World War II, Alaska served as a vital staging ground for the Allied forces in the Pacific theater. The construction of military bases and the Alaska Highway underscored its strategic value. The sale of Alaska had far-reaching consequences for both Russia and the United States. For Russia, it represented a missed opportunity to retain a territory rich in resources. Moreover, it weakened Russia's position in the Pacific and allowed the United States to establish dominance in the region. In hindsight, the sale of Alaska stands as a cautionary tale of the perils of short-term thinking and financial desperation. Russia's decision to part with Alaska for a fraction of its worth underscores the importance of strategic foresight and prudent decision-making in international affairs. Russia's sale of Alaska to the United States ranks as one of its biggest mistakes in history. What began as a pragmatic solution to financial woes ultimately resulted in the loss of a territory with immense economic and strategic value. As we reflect on this pivotal moment in history, let us heed the lessons it imparts about the enduring consequences of farsightedness and the importance of strategic thinking in international relations. What do you think? It was a decision which reflects the lack of farsightedness from Russian leaders or it was an unavoidable event which was the need of the hour at that point of time? Thank you for joining us on this journey through the annals of history.